Let's talk about how we can find the inverse of a matrix. So if I give you the number 4 in the real number system and ask you to find the multiplicative inverse, we have a really easy way of doing it. We just take its reciprocal, right? The reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth. Done, right? So it's a it's a, a rule to get the in the the the, inver the multiplicative inverse of our number. Uh, with matrices, it's a little more complicated, right? Because we have these structures that have like columns and rows, and so finding that inverse is a little bit uh, less straightforward. Um, but it, there is a process for doing it, and that's um, that's what we're going to look at here. So it involves something called the determinant. So I'll define that here. So if I have a square matrix, a 2 by 2, and that's all we're going to look at here are 2 by 2s. If I have a square matrix that looks like this, then the determinant is a times d. So just think of kind of like cross multiplying a times d minus b times c. So that's just a definition. Okay, that's what the determinant is. It's a times d minus b times c. If I want the inverse, it turns out that this matrix I'm about to put down is what does it. So if I do 1 over the determinant, 1 over ad minus bc, and I multiply that by the matrix I get by swapping a and d. So I'm going to swap my a and my d. So a is usually at the upper left, and d is at the lower right, but I'm going to swap them. And then I'm just going to take the opposites of my b and c. So b is normally a, a positive, or it's written as a positive. I'm just going to take the opposite of b and the opposite of c. So that is how we calculate the inverse of a square matrix, if it has an uh, inverse. We'll find that not all matrices have inverses. Okay, so th this is like, this is analogous to taking the reciprocal, right? It's just a little bit more complicated and a little less familiar, certainly. Okay, so let's do an example. Here's matrix A, and we want to find the inverse. So, um, so I have to find the inverse. And it's uh, notated the same way we notate inverses in in other situations with that little negative one uh, sub postscript or superscript. So that means inverse. So how do I do it? Well, first I need to find the determinant. So determinant of A, we abbreviate determinant of A, and that we know equals AD minus BC. So AD is 3 times 1 minus, and b times c is 2 times negative 1. So again, yeah, that's my a, d, minus b, c. And my answer ends up being 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 times a minus 1 is a plus 2, so this equals 5. Okay, but that's not the inverse, right? The inverse is given by this little formula here. So the inverse would be according to this definition, 1 over 5, right? 1 over the determinant times and so what am I going to do now? I'm going to swap my a and my d. So that means that the 1 and the 3 swap. And then I take the opposite of the b and the c. So the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2, and the opposite of minus 1 is a plus 1. So there's my inverse. And what we often do now is distribute that 1 fifth to everything. And to get my final answer of 1 times a fifth is a fifth. One fifth times negative two is negative two fifths. One fifth times one is one fifth. 
and a fifth times three is three fifths. So there is a inverse. Now on the next slide I'm going to check it and I want you to check it with me to make sure that we actually did find the inverse or to convince you that we actually did. So here we are, we're going to check that we found the inverse. Remember this is A and this is what I'm claiming is A inverse and what we should get, we should get the identity if they're in, in fact inverses. So let's check it. I've got 3 times a fifth, which is 3 fifths, plus 2 times a fifth, which is 2 fifths. 3 fifths plus 2 fifths is, one, is 5 fifths, which is 1. And then I do 3 times negative 2 fifths is negative 6 fifths, plus 2 times 3 fifths which is 6 fifths. So negative 6 fifths plus 6 fifths is a 0. And then I do negative 1 times 1 fifth is negative 1 fifth plus 1 times 1 fifth which is 1 fifth. So negative a fifth plus a 1 fifth is a 0. And then I do, lastly, negative 1 times negative 2 fifths which is positive 2 fifths plus um, plus 1 times 3 fifths, which is 3 fifths, and 2 fifths plus 3 fifths is 5 fifths, which gives me a 1. So it worked. We got the identity. Now it has to work in both directions, but I'm not going to do that now. I want you to, you, why don't you try the other direction to confirm. So you try this on your own. and make sure you get, you should get the identity here. Okay, make sure you do, and um, and that will wrap up our discussion of, of inverses, determinants and inverses.